Hello, this is Todd Tracy with the Tracy Law Firm in Dallas, Texas with another Todd Talk. Today I want to talk with you about the importance of airbags and many people think that airbags are a relatively new safety feature, but they really aren't. In fact, today I have with me uh, one of my primary experts on restraint system safety and this gentleman's name is Steve Sison and he uh, is really one of the fathers and creators of the air cushion restraint system that ultimately became known as the airbag system in General Motors. Steve, tell us about how the air cushion restraint system ultimately became known as frontal airbags and offering frontal protection to uh, drivers and passengers in the front seats. Well, it was a very long process. I began working on airbags back in 1971, and airbags at that time were very experimental, but the government wanted the car companies to put airbags in their vehicles back in those days. And so we were doing a lot of work at General Motors trying to make airbags safe for kids. Now, why did it take the manufacturer so many years to ultimately, if you started working on them in 1971, the vast majority of vehicles didn't even have them until, until the early 1990s. Why did it take almost 20 years to get them in place? Well, I think there was a, a big resistance and a lot of the issues that we find today uh, were issues even back then. It's very, very difficult to develop a crash sensor that sets off an airbag in every crash where you want it to deploy. And it's also very difficult to develop a crash sensing system that doesn't set off airbags in crashes where you don't want them to deploy. And, we, and in fact, we're still having problems with airbags even today. I think Takata has now it, approaching a hundred million vehicles where the Takata airbags are basically an, impro uh, an improvised explosive device, uh, you know, blowing shrapnel all over people. Yeah, I mean, we, we looked into the propellant that Takata is using, which is basically the same stuff that Timothy McVeigh used to blow up the federal building in Oklahoma City. And we concluded at General Motors, and also after I left General Motors and went into consulting, working on airbags for a private consulting company, that that propellant um, was not safe to use. And we'd concluded that back in the 1970s. And for some reason, Takata uh, redeveloped that propellant, and it's proven to be just as dangerous today as it was anticipated to be back in the 1970s.